Right, my message for this video is read books. And just read books if you want to get ahead. There are so many good books out there that can help you with your trading. As Gordon Gecko said in the Wall Street film, knowledge is power. I don't care if it's digital format or physical format, just read books if you want to get ahead. It's as simple as that. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you three books that I've used to get me ahead in my trading and I thoroughly recommend them to you. They're still relevant today. Hello, I'm Stephen Ho, trader and founder of The Stop Hunter. So let's take a look at those three now. Now the three books I've got for you in this video, I've got one for the mind and your trading psychology, one for technical analysis and trading, and the final one that looks at how the markets work and to give you a full understanding of trading and how that whole environment comes together. Now, if you're gonna work for one of Paul Tudor Jones's hedge funds, now he's one of the legends of trading as well, it's more than likely that you're gonna be given a copy of this very book to read now I've got my copy here um, it's yeah, reminiscences of a stock operator and it's all about Jesse Livermore one of the all-time greats of trading how he won lost won again billions of pounds through the early 1900s and the Wall Street crash where he cleaned up on and why you know, is Paul Tudor Jones still giving out this book today? It's because the psychology, the market philosophy, ethos, ideas are still all exactly the same today as they were, you know, 100 years ago. And you can take out the um, psychology of Jesse Livermore with his interaction uh, with the markets then, and you can take that into today's world. And apply it to your trading it is a great read from cover to cover and I like the annotated version which is here because it then relays that back to today's world so it makes it a bit more understandable and more relevant but all in all a fantastic read if you want to deal with the trading mindset and the psychology of trading which I can tell you is one of the most important and key elements to uh, grasp if you ever want to make you know, a success of the trading game. Now my second book is about technical analysis and trading. It's written by John Murphy and he's one of the godfathers of technical analysis and this was one of the first books on technical analysis I picked up. It gave me the foundation I needed to you know, evolve into the type of trader I am today. It covers almost all the topics of technical analysis. There are some bits missing um, in depth, like the Japanese charts, and it is an older book, uh, so it does maybe not catch up on some of the more up-to-date you know, goings on and discoveries in technical analysis, but for a foundation into um, trading, it is a very good read. And again, I've got my copy you know, right here, um, it's a bit of a Bible, it's got lots of pages, but it is, like I say, easy to digest. And if you want to get into technical analysis, not a bad place to start. Now, my final book of the three is all about how financial markets work, are put together, you know, a bit of about the maths and science behind it. Now, a lot of people start in the world of trading and investing without any inside information on how the things work and it is crucial if you're trading you know commodities stocks you know forex that you know how the market works and this book um, is, is basically you know a great introductory guide to how it does work and it's got the maths behind it so if you want to take it further um, it's very useful if you're into programming and um, systematic trading again that can help you there now I've got my copy here and it is the very old uh, version of the book and it is the very first book I ever got in financial markets and one of my first jobs ever and it served me well for over 
25 years. Now there is the updated edition, I think they're on to the 9th edition, and it is by the author Hull, an expert in financial markets and derivatives, uh, well known in the field. And again, it's broken down the book into many um, sectors, whether you want to learn about stocks, forex, commodities, futures, options, credit derivatives, you know, risk management, you know, I say the maths behind the stuff, it's all in there um, at, I think, you know, a pretty decent level. It's not too highbrow. It's not, you know, too difficult to comprehend, but you just got to put the time and effort into the book and I think it will re reap, you know, big rewards for your trading. So there you go. That's my third book. Hull's um, great uh, book on futures and derivatives. So there you go, my three books, you know, my recommendations to get you going in the world of trading cover a pretty comprehensive um, spectrum of different parts of the world of trading and hopefully they'll give you an insight, you know, give you an edge into your world and help you become better traders. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. All the links to the books will be in the description below. Leave your feedback in the comments. You know What other books do you um, think I should have included or ones that you've enjoyed over your trading career and that have benefited you? Put them in the comments and you know, I'll get back to you with my thoughts and maybe you could suggest other ideas for different videos around that content. So again, if you've liked today's video, please give us the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons so you'll be notified of any future content I am going to produce. So all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching. Good luck with the trading and I'll see you in the next video.